top five run today? What did you learn today that can transfer to tomorrow? I don't know. Hopefully just a couple of driving things. Um, but we'll see, you know, when the, when the day starts. It was a really hot one today. So how do you go about, you know, recovering your body to get ready for 500 miles tomorrow night? Just hydrate. You know, you're kind of behind already, you know. So the good news is race it until 6 tomorrow night, you know, or whatever. So you got some time to um, get some fluids back in you. It was a quiet day for you guys today. What more did you need from the car to be up there at the front? Nothing. The car was great. I just I struggle here, so it just took me a bit to get in a good rhythm. And then um, even when I got in a good rhythm, it's not a great rhythm. You know, it's just kind of decent. So just uh, trying to work through it, trying to find a little bit here and there to try to compete with the you know with the good guys here tomorrow night. One more question, kind of about the Cup Series schedule. Anything stand out to you for next year that you're excited about? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to all of it, honestly. I mean, I didn't think it was – there's nothing on there that I really dislike. So, I think overall it's a positive. Fortunate end of the day for Sam Mayer, especially with how fast you were at the start. When you're leading, battling a bell, what happened to cause the tire to spin? Oh, I don't know. I think I think it was going down for a while. I think that's why our balance was so good. Um, but, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Um, I mean, obviously, we had a really fast car super proud of all these guys 10x health on board obviously um not how we wanted it to go but we we showed that we were here uh we went up there and passed all those cup guys and and didn't leave the top three until our incident so that was the goal for today is just to show up and be there and do our job and we did just that so um really thankful for this opportunity obviously darlington hasn't really been good to me lately so i'm looking forward to turning that around next year and then when you did loop it around in turn one was it kind of a surprise to not see a yellow there I mean, I lost control and went up and, and almost went into the field. I was like, holy crap, there's going to be a caution for sure. And then there wasn't, so I like quickly looked it back around. But, um, yeah, it's just part of it, okay. unfortunate. And uh, after after the incident, unfortunately, your trap laps down, but did you still have the speed to compete? Had you been able to, you know, recover what better? Yeah, like if, if we were able to get back on the lead lap and have equal tires with everybody, I think our car was still good. Uh, we had brake problems because we did uh, tear the – Brake line off the left rear with that carcass, so knocked some speed out of it. But honestly, our car was the balance was so good that we were going to be pretty unbeatable today. All right, thank you, Sam. Outside. Carson Quabble, 14 today at Darlington, your second time here this season. You feel like it was an improvement from when you were here in uh, May? Yeah, I honestly think it was. I mean, if that caution didn't come out at the end, we were going to finish ninth or tenth wherever we were running there. And, uh, we had really good long run speed. We, we couldn't really fire off that great. We were too tight to fire and. Uh, it did seem like all day we couldn't turn off the corner, and that kind of hurt us throughout the whole race. Honestly, I felt like the midpoint of the race, we were coming, kind of coming through the field, and we had a really good car entry center, and I'd gain on everybody entry to center, and then as soon as we had to point down for the exit, I just lost all all of what I gained. So I guess we're gonna have to work on that uh, in, the, in the future here. But I think honestly, we had we had a good car. We just started back in the field that puts you in a big hole. And, you're working the whole race just to get to where you should have been starting. So uh, I got to thank all these guys the, on the Clarence Chevrolet, everyone at Jude Motorsports for, for the opportunity and the great race car I got. But uh, definitely hoping for a little better finish there at the end. Just uh, got a little too tight. Do you have any explanation as a way to pinpoint the qualifying issues and how to improve on it? Honestly, I don't even know, man. Truthfully, I mean, I, I qualified and super tight, couldn't get back to the gas. Kind of basically what we fought all race. and. Uh, we fired off in the race. Obviously, they didn't make changes, but we fired off the race sideways. Got to wreck, entry, center, and tight as crap on exit. And uh, no matter what we did, if we tightened up the center, loosened up the center, it just would not turn on exit. So definitely going to have to work on something there. Obviously, I can do better on restarts. I can do better in qualifying, but uh, I feel like there's a little bit we, we can do to work on the car. It was a really hot one today in Darlington. You raced Nashville, and the heat kind of got to you there. Do you feel like it was an improvement for, I mean, you health-wise here? Yeah, we did. we worked on our race cars a little bit. Got got some different uh, cool shirts and, and whatnot. And, uh, I felt like Nashville. I was I was tacked out the whole race. I was I was really hot. And, uh, this one I got out of the car, just like a normal like a normal eight mile race with, with just a helmet fan. Uh, pretty hot, but I was fine. Probably could do some more laps. So. Uh, yeah, it was it was hot for sure, but uh, fortunately we got we got better stuff in the race car now, and uh, it keeps me cool. Last question for you to be able to make the jump to do the Xfinity Series, whether it happens next year or somewhere down the line. 
how do you feel your progression has been on these bigger tracks? Obviously, you have the skill level on the short tracks, but these have kind of been a new thing for you. No, I think these uh, these big tracks have been fun, honestly. Uh, going to Indy, Michigan, and here for the second time, I feel like I've learned a lot, and it's kind of, I, I, it's just different from what I've ever done. I've always short track raced, right? So uh, going to these bigger tracks, drafting tracks where aero matters and stuff, it's been a fun experience, and it's been challenging, but I've really enjoyed it. Steven Stump of FrontChurch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.